Hi, we just finished meeting for pronunciation practice on Monday, January 30th, and we started with luxuries, luxuries, and it's the sh sound in the middle, luxuries, but when it's the adjective, luxurious, now the sh has voicing, so it's sh with sound, luxurious, and the I-O-U-S Looks like it should be eos, but it's not. It's just yis. So the word furious also just sounds like yis at the end. Furious. People. This one, the most important thing to remember is to keep your lips back for the final L. Because if you round your lips, it'll sound like peepo. So if you smile, that helps keep your lips back. People. If you put your tongue in the L position... At the end, before you make your pee, pee, uh, put it in, the, touch behind your top teeth, <laughs> then make your pee, and then you're just making the sound of the L. That's what the ol noise is. People, people, disheartened. So you don't say the T when you say dishart, your tongue goes to the T position, heartened. <laughs> but you won't hear the D if you're just saying the word disheartened. And you will hear the D if there's a vowel after it. I was disheartened upon, disheartened upon hearing the news. And now we have a lot of ah practice. So uh, remember, the ah and the ah are made with the tongue and the jaw, you know, very low, very open, ah, ah. The main difference is that for ah, like hat, the lips are back, ah, but for ah, the lips are not pulled back. They should be like straight up and down, ha, hot, hat, hot, hat, hot. So if you don't open enough, if your jaw isn't low enough, your ah could sound like eh or even uh. So instead of hat, it could sound like het or hut. Same thing for hot. If you don't open enough, hot could sound like hut. So really open, Ah, ah, keep your tongue low. And for ah, keep your lips back. Fast. You don't have to say the T when you're saying the word by itself or if it's at the end of the sentence. Wow, that was fast. Fast. Hold the tongue in the T position. Fasten. You don't hear the T at all. The T just disappears. <laughs> Fasten. Fasten your seatbelts. Fact. You don't have to say the K, but your tongue goes to the K position, fact, to stop the airflow. And then your tongue is pressing against the top of your mouth for the T, and that's also stopping the airflow. So you just leave it there. In fact, in fact, fasting, you will hear this T, fasting. Allies, these are supporters, allies, alloy, it's a mixture of metal. Alley, it's the narrow road between buildings, usually behind the buildings. Alley. Aisle. So this one isn't an ah, it's an I. You have to open a lot for I, and then your tongue rises. Aisle. Forget about the S. This could be rows of seats, like in a church, or it could be rows of shelving, like in a grocery store. So that made me think of um, the chips are in aisle eight. Aloe, so back to the ah. The aloe vera plant is good to treat burns. Annex, more ah, annex. And the letter X is really not a nothing at all. It's really here, a K and an S. Annex. Lantern, ah, lantern. And you can, you'll hear people say it without the T, lantern. But I think with the T is, is more common. And it, I think it's easier. Lectern is the, um, sometimes it's a small wooden box with a slant so that when you're giving a lecture, you can put your book or your um, notes on it. Lectern. And then wander and wonder. 19, wander with an ah means to walk around no direction. Wander. I'm just going to wander around for a while. 20, 
wonder. The vowel is uh. So now your jaw is, is high and your tongue is low in the middle and pulled back. Uh, wonder. It could be think about like, I wonder, I wonder what to do today. Or it could be amazing like, wow, what wonder woman. <laughs> wonder. I was just wondering if you'd like to go to lunch. Balloon. B. It looks like an A, like it should be balloon, but it's not. It's B. Balloon. Moon. Blue moon. They both have the same oo sound, just spelled differently. Fail. The tongue goes very high. Fail. And slides down. Feel. Your tongue is already starting in a very high position. Feel. Feel. How does it feel to fail? Frail means weak, so it's exact, exactly the same as 23, fail, but with an R. So you start with your tongue curled back in the R position, frail. And that's where we stopped, but I'll pronounce these. Sheep, and the vowel is E, and ship, the vowel is I. So it's the difference between eat and it. This is sheep and ship. Sheep, ship, eat, it. Uh, conflict. The vowel is ah. Conflict. Ah. Conflict. Oh, it could be conflict. We did this last time. <laughs> I'm not going to get into um, all the details of it. It could be conflict, a noun, or it could be conflict, the verb. It could be conduct, the noun, or conduct, the verb. Billiard. Seen is the same as seen. I have seen it. Thing and sin. So the vowel here is E and the vowel here is I. The vowel here is E. Billiard. Well, this depends on if it's a noun or a verb. Okay, I'll end there. Thank you. Um, it was fun tonight. I'm glad to see everybody. And if you couldn't join us, I hope you can join us another time. Thanks. Have a good night.